Hi there! In this tutorial, we will be covering how to retarget to a metahuman skeleton and how we can apply this in Shogun Live to be used in Unreal Engine. We will cover how to obtain an appropriate skeleton, use the newly updated Vicon metahuman retarget script with finger support to create a retarget, then apply this retarget to our subject in Shogun Live, and finally, how we use this data in Unreal Engine 5. Before we begin, let's go over some key info. In this tutorial, we will be using Shogun 1.10. This update includes newly added finger support to the Vicon MetaHuman retarget script, allowing us to retarget everything, even fingers, in no time at all. These are included with Shogun Post 1.10 and onwards. Please note these scripts will not work in Shogun 1.7 or earlier versions. When using these scripts, we recommend using the ROM of an actor. The scripts require the take to only have one subject, and a ROM allows us to see the largest movements ensuring a solid retarget. Retargeting a metahuman skeleton is best done through the mannequin skeleton. The metahuman skeleton has the exact same structure and naming scheme as the mannequin skeleton, with a lot of extra bones. The simpler mannequin skeleton allows for easier setup and is more performant in Shogun Live. Now onto the tutorial. First, let us get the required FBX file for retargeting. Open Unreal Engine 5.0.3 or any later version and create a third-person template project. Navigate to the folder location of the mannequin skeletal meshes. Ensure these are the Unreal Engine 5 versions. Pick either of the underscore simple skeletal meshes. For this tutorial, we are using the Manny underscore simple skeletal mesh. Right-click, Asset Actions, Export. Save it to a suitable location. And now we move to Shogun Post. Open the ROM of your actor. Go to the Subject Setup panel and then the Retarget tab. Import the Manny underscore simple FBX. On the ribbon toolbar, go to Panels Script Editor. Either type in the script name or open Setup Retarget to UE5 Mannequin and run the script. In the Retarget Subject Setup panel, Retarget over Play Range. Let's check our retarget. Play through the take. To know if it's a good retarget, ensure limbs match the solve skeleton movement closely and there are no unexpected rotations. Watch the shoulders and neck for any stretching. If the actor will be using props, ensure the hand retarget is very close to the soul skeleton. If something looks incorrect, go back into map mode, adjust position, rotation, and scale of the retarget skeleton, and update the constraints. Make sure to retarget over play range again if any changes are made to the constraints. Once we are happy with the retarget, export the retarget to the Shogun Live Retargets folder. Now open Shogun Live. Go to your Subjects Properties panel and apply the newly saved retarget. At this point, we can move back to Unreal Engine. Open your Unreal Engine project, and before we do any MetaHuman setup, ensure the Vicon LiveLink plugin is installed and enabled in the project. Restart the project if necessary. In the LiveLink window, create a Vicon LiveLink connection. Ensure a MetaHuman has been imported from Quixel Bridge. In the MetaHuman folder, there will be a blueprint of your MetaHuman. Bring this into your level. Now in the Details panel, under Live Link, select the subject streaming from Shogun Live. We should now see the MetaHuman animating live, driven by Vicon Data in Shogun Live, using a retarget setup in Shogun Post. With the newly updated finger support in the Vicon MetaHuman retarget scripts, getting a robust live retarget is quicker than ever using Shogun. We would love to hear your feedback, so please do feel free to leave a comment below or contact our support team if you need further assistance. Thanks for watching.